Meant to be sipped, savored, and sometimes used to saute, wine is the supreme and sophisticated drink of the ages. The wonderful thing about human foot is the human foot, we can crush these grapes and squeeze them and mush them around without breaking the seeds. And the seeds contain quite a lot of bitter tannins. And if you crush those seeds, then you're going to actually lose some quality with the wine. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 wine-producing countries. For this list, we're looking at nations whose wine exports are versatile and noted for quality as well as affordability. Those regions whose wines are varied, reputable, and just tasty will score the highest. Number 10, Germany. Speaking for the United States, German Riesling is, is quite respected from a quality standpoint. Known for its sweet white Riesling wine, the Federal Republic of Germany deals in euros and is most commonly associated with beer, not its classier cousin. However, the species of white grape used to produce Riesling is responsible for an aromatic, dry and slightly sweet concoction that's pure to the core. No previous generation had such high quality consistent harvests as we do today. With notes of fruit, usually apple, also commonly found in this variety, it regularly ranks alongside Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc as one of the top three varieties of white wine. They've discovered red wine, but now white's on the march. There's a fresh curiosity, and it's a country with gigantic capacities. Number nine, South Africa. With several towns distinctly acknowledged for their wine production, it's evident that South Africa certainly contributes to the market, both nationally and internationally. Franschuk is one such town and has actually been described as the food and wine capital of the country. Though there is no trademark variety of wine attributed to this country, Stellenbosch, known as a principal location for viticulture or research regarding the cultivation of grapes, is also making a name for itself with its Cabernet Sauvignon. Number 8. Portugal and for me, what's exciting about Portuguese wines is that they're so different. You know, you have this rich treasure trove of grape varieties. Um, and, and for me, that make, means that Portugal's excitingly different. Portugal has been exporting wine since the time of the Roman Empire. Rome was well populated then and filled with people craving a good drink. Even now, the top two wine producing vineyards are so coveted that both Douro Valley and Pico Island have been declared UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Portugal makes a multitude of different wines, including Muscatel and Port, which is offered in varieties like Tani or Ruby. I like the fact that they have a regional accent, that they're, that they're regionally distinctive, and I like the fact they go with food. So most of all, I just like the, fa the fact that they're Portuguese. Number seven, Australia. As the country that exports the fourth most wine on the globe, Australia has a real corner on the market. In fact, the country's economy is well supported by its wine production. It's home to over 60 wine regions, the majority of which are located in cooler areas like the southern portion of the country. Over 130 grape species are used by Australian winemakers, with a few of the most well-known types produced being Shiraz, Chardonnay, Merlot, and Pinot Noir. Number six, Argentina. Stemming from Spanish tradition, Argentina's wine industry is the fifth largest on an international scale. The country's many varieties of grapes reflect its illustrious immigration and its willingness to help make success a reality for every person. One of Argentina's most celebrated wines is Malbec, which is made from vines brought over by the French. This really does put a smile on your face. I mean, you just smell those red berries and cherries and a little bit of spice there. It's a purple grape that produces a dark color of red wine and is one of only six varieties allowed in the Bordeaux blend. Number five, the United States. Right within our little appellation, you get world-class Chardonnay grown relatively close to world-class Cabernet on the hillside. Wine has been made in the United States for three centuries, and today it's proudly produced in all 50 states, although almost 90% of American wine comes from California. When consumers pick up a bottle of wine that says Napa Valley on it, they'll recognize that these grapes and this wine was made in Napa Valley. We think this is paramount to make sure that our customers know what they're getting when they buy a bottle of our wine. Several varieties of grape call North America home. Winemaking took off because of European colonists. 
Close to 3,000 vineyards are run commercially in the U.S., with at least one winery per state. Over 1,200 of those are in California alone, scattered across regions like the Napa and Sonoma Valleys, with their size varying from small vineyards to the large corporations like Ernest and Giulio Gallo. Among the most respected in America, among the most respected in the world. Number four, Chile. Between the Andes Mountains and the Pacific Ocean lies a thin ribbon of land noted for its history of studying grapes. In the 1800s, several French wine types were introduced to Chile, including Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Calmener. The Calmener grape creates a rich red wine, the name for which originates from the French word for crimson. Merlot, on the other hand, is a dark blue, almost black grape, widely grown in the Chilean Central Valley. Both are part of a recent rebirth of the Chilean wine industry, which has helped make the country one of the world's largest exporters. And we bought more land to start producing our uh, reserve higher quality wines. Number three, Spain. We have been aging wine in this area since the Phoenicians, 3,000 years before, before Christ. With most of its product grown in the southwestern portion of the country, Spain is the third largest international wine producer. A substantial amount of indigenous grapes are found in the country and are responsible for the strong Spanish reds cultivated in the local sun-drenched vineyards. Spaniards are ranked ninth in terms of global wine consumption with an average of almost 22 liters or six gallons per person per year. But aside from the robust reds, cava, a sparkling wine similar to champagne, is also notably Spanish. Number two, Italy. Today, Sicily is able to produce a very fruity wine, wines that are related to the land. This country is famous as the home of Il Vino. With some of the oldest wine-creating regions in the world rooted in Italian soil, the alcoholic drink is a national staple. The Greeks and Etruscans began wine production in Italy even before the Romans planted their own vineyards. Noted expressly for their whites, Bianco in their native tongue, and reds or rosso, Italians tend to toast and salute at the drop of a hat. Before we uncork our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Piaojiu是一个有意思的过程,没有公式,没有现成比例。只有根据葡萄品种当年的表现和当年的酿造结果中去调配 Today we've got a, a classic example of Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc that we're tasting It's the 2013 Peter Yearland Sauvignon Blanc And this is a blend from the two valleys, from the Awateri Valley and the Wairau Valley Number 1. France Billions of bottles of French wine are filled each year Which is unsurprising seeing as France is the largest wine producer in the entire world and it's little wonder, since many of the planet's most popular grape varieties originated in French soil. Acclaimed for its amazing reds like the classic Bordeaux, and also for its whites like Chablis, it's the country to visit for whimsy and wine. Dating back to the 6th century, France's relationship with wine has certainly endured and been perfected. When the vine roots go deep down, they draw on a pure soil, which results in those distinctive iodized and crystal clear qualities. It is in this very precise geological location that we can display a unique wine at once crystal clear and iodized. Do you agree with our list? What are your favorite wine producing countries? For more fascinating top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Thank <laughs> you.